Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 2 Polynomials Exercise 2.1. So what is a polynomial? Special type of algebraic expressions are called polynomials, right? So the only one condition means the degree of polynomial is always whole number. If it is a fraction, means what? That is not a polynomial. Suppose the degree 2 x power uh, 1 by 2. So this is not a polynomial. Why? Because the power of x is not a whole number. This is a fraction, right? So this is not a whole, uh, sorry, polynomial. So x power minus value. x power minus 5 plus x square equal to 5. This is also not a polynomial. Why? Because the power of this polynomial is minus value. So that is not a polynomial. The power of the polynomial, the power of the variable is always a whole number. Then only we can say that that equation, that expression is a polynomial. Okay, question number one. Which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable which are not? State the reason for your answer. So polynomial in one variable means in that equation there should be only one variable either x or y or z or t or a or b or c. Only one variable should be there. Then that is called a polynomial with the one variable. Okay, first one we can check. 4x square minus 3x plus 7. Here only one variable. Which is the, which one is the variable? x is the variable. Correct. So this is the polynomial. The power of this x is 2 and here the power is 1. Correct. So the powers are whole numbers only. So what we can say? This is a polynomial with the one variable. So first we need to state. This is the polynomial with the one variable. So here we can write. Yes, this is the polynomial with the polynomial with the one variable polynomial with the one variable what is the variable x yes this is the polynomial with the one variable x okay question number 2 y square plus root 2 so what is the variable here y is the variable there is only one variable y is the variable so this is also a polynomial the power of y is what 2 2 is a whole number so we can say that this y square plus root 2 is a polynomial with the polynomial with polynomial in one variable y this is the answer so this one 3 root it, root t plus t root 2. See this root t. Root t means what? Root means square root only right. So this one we can write as t power 1 by 2. So this equation will be changing to 3 t power 1 by 2 plus root t root 2. Root 2 otherwise 2 power 1 by 2 anything we can write. So here we can see that there is only one variable t. But this is not a polynomial. Why this is not a polynomial? Because the power of the variable is fraction. Here it is fraction. Here it is whole number. But we are comparing means what? One power is fraction only. So what we can say? This is not a polynomial. So what we can write? This equation. This equation is not. Is not a polynomial because power of the variable power of the variable is not a whole number But this is in one variable, but this is not a polynomial, correct? So this is not a polynomial because power of the variable is not a whole number. Question number 4. Y plus 2 by Y. 2 by Y, correct? 2 by Y. That means um, what we can write 2 into 1 by Y, right? So 1 by X. 1 by X means how we will write X power minus 1. So this become 2 into Y power minus 1 we can write, correct? So this equation will be changing to y plus 2 into y power minus 1. Here we can say again this is not a polynomial. Why? Because the power of the variable is not a whole number. So this is also not a 
polynomial. So here also what we can say it is in one variable correct. So what we can write it is in one variable but but this but this equation is not a polynomial because the power is not a whole number. The power is not the power is not a whole number. Why? What is the power here? Minus 1. This is the answer. Reason. Question number 5. x power 10 plus y cube plus t power 50. This is a polynomial. Yes, this is a polynomial because the powers are whole numbers. But is it in one variable? No. There are three variables are here. X, Y and T. So what we can uh, write? This is not a, this is not a polynomial in one variable. This is not a polynomial in one variable. The variables, the three variables are x, y and t. That is the question, right? Is it a polynomial in one variable? No, this is not. It is a polynomial but it is not in one variable. So, it contains how many variables? Three variables x, y and t. This is the answer. Question number 2. Write coefficients of x square in each of the following. Write the coefficient of x square. Coefficient means along with the x square which number is there. That is the coefficient of x square. Along with the sign also we need to write. Okay. Question number 1. 2 plus x square plus x. We need to find the coefficient of x square. So this is the x square term. Right. So along with the x square which number is there? Only 1. 1 into x square is x square. The sign is plus only. So what is the coefficient of x square? 1. So here we can write. Therefore. Coefficient of x square equal to 1. Question number 2. 2 minus x square plus x cube. x square term. So what is the coefficient of x square here? Minus 1. So here we can write. Coefficient of x square equal to minus 1. Along with the sign we need to write. Question number 3. Pi by 2 x square plus x. So here the x square term. So, what is the coefficient of x square? Apart from x square, what is there? Pi by 2 is there. So, pi by 2 is the coefficient of x square. Therefore, coefficient of x square equal to pi by 2. Answer. Fourth one, root 2x minus 1. So, what is the coefficient of x square here? x square term is here. No, here there is no x square term. Nothing is there means what we can write 0 into x square is? 0 only, right? So, this equation we can write as 0 into x square plus root 2x minus 1. So, what is the coefficient of x square? 0. So, the term is not there means we can write coefficient of x square equal to 0. This is the answer. Question number 3. Give one example each of a binomial of degree 35 and of a monomial of degree 100. So what is binomial? A equation with the only one term is called a binomial. A polynomial with the only one term is called a monomial. Two term is called a binomial. Three term is called a trinomial. Like that we can write. Only one term is called a monomial. Two term is called a binomial. Correct. First we need to write a binomial of degree 35. So we can write bin answer. Binomial of degree 35 we are writing. Going to write. Okay. So binomial means in that equation, in that polynomial, there should be only two terms. So I am just taking 3x power 35. 3 into x means this is together one term only. Right. 3x power 35 plus 10. So this is a, what is this? This one is a. Uh, which one? Uh, two terms, right? This is the first term. This is the second term. So, this is a binomial. Two terms means binomial. Binomial of degree 
35. The degree of x is what? The variable is what? 35. So this is a binomial of degree 35. Next one. Monomial of degree 100. Example 4. Monomial of degree 100. Monomial means only one time. So I am just writing x power 100. x power 100. That, that means there is only one time. If I am writing x, x power 100 plus 2 means there are two times. So monomial means we should write only one time. So this is the example for a monomial. So or this one also we can write 2x power 100 or uh, y power 100 with the only one variable we need to use and only one time only we can write. So this is the example for monomial of degree 100. This is the answer. Question number 4. Write the degree of each of the following polynomials. Degree means variable with the highest power. Highest Variable with the highest power is the degree of the polynomial. Here what is the variable here? X is the variable. So here this is x cube, this is x square, this is x. So which one is the highest power? 3 is the highest power, right? So the degree of this one is 3. So degree of a polynomial means the variable with the highest power is the degree of the polynomial. So we can write the degree of the polynomial 5x cube plus 4x square plus 7x equal to 3. Here we can write degree equal to 3. Next step, 2, 4 minus y square. Here only one variable, the, the power, the power is 2, right? So we can write degree. Degree equal to 2. 5t minus root 7. So what is the variable here? t is the variable. The power of t is 1. t power 1 is t only, right? So the degree of the polynomial 5t minus root 7 equal to 1. Fourth one, 3. Only 3. 3 means what? 3 we can write as 3 into x power 0. x power 0 is what? 1 x power 0 equal to 1. In exponent powers, we learn this one, right? x power 1 is x. x power 0 is 1. So, this one, 3 into x power 0 means 3 into 1. 3 into 1 is 3 only, right? So, what is the degree of the polynomial? The variable with the power. The, what is the power of the variable? 0. So, the degree of the polynomial is 0. Degree equal to 0. If it is a constant means, what we can write the degree? Degree equal to 0. This 3 is also a polynomial. Correct. Question number 5. Classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomial. So, how we can classify? Classify the polynomials in two ways. Based on their degree and the terms. Based on the terms means how many terms are there means. Based on that, we can classify the polynomial as monomial, binomial, trinomial. Like that we can verify. Based on the degree, we can classify linear, quadratic, cubic. A polynomial with the degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. A polynomial with the degree 2 is called a quadratic polynomial. Polynomial with the degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial. Okay. Here we can check. Question number 1. x square plus x. So what is the degree of the polynomial? There is only one variable. The highest degree of the variable is 2. So what we can write? This is the degree 2 means what? Quadratic polynomial. Second degree polynomial. That is called a quadratic polynomial. This is a quadratic polynomial. Next, x minus x cube. There is only one variable. The highest power is 3. Power 3 means it is called a third degree polynomial or cubic polynomial. Cubic so we can write therefore x minus x cube is a cubic polynomial because the degree of the polynomial is 3. Third one y plus y square plus 4. Here the variable is y. Variable with the highest power is 2. So this one is 2 means which polynomial? Quadratic polynomial. This one is a quadratic polynomial. Fourth one 1 plus x. The variable is x. The x, x means what? x power 1. Correct. So x power 1 only. So 1 means what? The power 1 is called a linear polynomial. Linear. A polynomial with the degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. 
fifth one, three t. Three t means three into t. T means we can write as t power one, right? So this one three into t power one only. So the variable with the degree is one, power is one. So it is called a linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. Sixth one, r square. R square means the variable r with the power two. So that is a quadratic polynomial. Degree two is called a quadratic polynomial. Seventh one, seven x cube. Seven x cube means power is three. Power three means what? That is a cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial. These are the classification. So polynomial we can divide into two categories. That is based on their terms and their, based on their degree. Okay. Terms means what? Monomial, binomial, trinomial like that. Degree based on degree means what? Linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial. Like this we can classify a polynomial. This is the answer.